Hi, this is Mary from Open Helix, a division of BioIT World, with this week's video tip of the week. If you're seeing this tip someplace else, please be sure to come back by our blog at blog.openhelix.com for additional details. I'll provide links to the resource I'm talking about today, associated publications, and so on. So check us out at blog.openhelix.com. For this tip of the week, I'm going to introduce you to the International Knockout Mouse Consortium site at knockoutmouse.org. Now this used to be the site for the KOMP Comp Knockout Mouse Project, but it appears to have been harmonized now by a, a bunch of different groups that are creating these knockout mice. The goal of the project here is to create ES cells for all protein coding genes in the mouse. And so these will be reagents that are available to anybody to use to generate, to grow up these mice and study them. And I think this is a fascinating project that it hands you all the tools that you need to look at these genes in mice. I think if your gene of interest is in, in, in here already, you're, you're golden, you know, you can, you can order that and uh, start looking around. There's also great opportunities here for projects that you hadn't thought about yet, you know, genes that are homologous to your gene of interest, maybe crosses, maybe the genes that are they're having trouble making these knockouts, maybe that's because that's a really crucial gene and somebody ought to look at that. So anyway, there's a lot of great opportunity here that I hope that bench biologists could take advantage of. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this today. I encourage you to look a little more about the project so you can learn about what's going on here. You can take a quick overview of the project here. You can see the number of protein coding genes with the cell lines that have already been developed. You can see the different groups that are doing that and how that's going for them. The specific data is available here easily from a quick search right at the top, the search and browse, so you can search for your favorite gene symbol or genomic locations and see what's going on there. Another way to do it is just to browse by gene symbol. Here you can see here, always at the top, <laughs> always a goodie. Um, you can open this actually and go to the MGI site for details about what this gene is. So you have access to all this information you can browse by just by the gene symbol here in alphabetical order. You can browse by chromosome. Maybe there's a chromosomal region you're interested in and you want to see what might be available there. Another thing though that's available that actually surprised me was there's a Biomart interface for this. Biomart is the query interface that lets you go into the database and do complicated queries by choosing, in this case, high throughput gene targeting group. You can choose from all of these different data sets that are related to this, and you can query this with really complicated queries of the underlying database. So there's a Biomart interface for this as well. There's also the opportunity to nominate genes. If you're interested in, in bumping your favorite gene up to the, to the top of the list, you know, you could try that here from nominate genes. I think that the Knockout Mouse Consortium group, I hope, um, would provide interesting opportunities and reagents for those of you doing bench work on these genes. And I would encourage you to check it out. Terrific resource. Thanks very much.